Hello. How you doing? I pray you're doing well. It's that time. That's right. It is time to make outreach packs. One of the things we do in our ministry, in our church, in our family, is we try to help people in need. God has laid on our hearts to bless a few people along the way of life. Now, we all have a bit of a responsibility to do those same things with the people that come across our path. To be supportive, to be loving, to care, to look after people in our lives. This is what I do. What do you do? How do you do it? How do you reach out to the people in your life that you care for, that come across your path? This is just the road that we've taken, that I've taken. And you know, it's very fulfilling. You put in a little something about God. You grab a granola bar, you grab a meat stick. Another granola bar. A little something sweet. Cheez-Its, you know. You put it together. You zip it up. And you send it on its way to help people in need. We go out on the streets. We do this to people in our community. We share the food, the love, the clothes. Just do you. What are you doing? How are you helping someone along the way? Maybe you're looking after your mother, your father, looking after your kids, growing them up. Maybe you've already done that. And you got people online that are that are coming to you saying, hey, help me here, help me there. We all have our own individual ways. Just do you. Just do you. Some people think I'm a fool for doing this. Some people think we're enabling the problem. Some people think that we're not really helping, we're just making the matter worse. But this is what God's laid on our hearts to do. This is the way that we can bless someone, to let someone know that God cares for them, to let somebody know that they're loved that day. And if it's through a little food, if it's through a little time and effort on my part, or our volunteers and our wonderful team, then it's worth it. Because, you know, I need love. <laughs> I've had people come into my life to help me along the path. And I know you've had people come into your life to help you along your path. You know, we all have different ways of doing this, you know. We can't all do the same thing to help the people that come across our path. We all have to have our own ways of helping. We all have to have our own ways of loving. We all have to share with someone that God loves them today. This is just one way to do it. So if by chance you're thinking, hey, maybe I could do something like this in my neck of the woods, my part of town, all we did was we started with some water, a couple 12 packs of Coke, and a couple of toiletries we got at the dollar store. And we went out and we gave them away and we blessed people, and we cared for people. And after that, the, the we saw the need, and we could get a little more this week, and a little more the next week, and a little more the week after that. And slowly, 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 over many years, praise God, we're able now, with thanks to you and your donations and your finances to this church, your donations of clothing and things, we're able to bless a lot of people at any given time. This is just what we do. Just do you. Maybe you're an excellent cook. You can write. I mean, you can cook for somebody a great meal and take it to them and, and bless them in that manner. That's fantastic. That is needed. I wish I could do something, but I don't think most people would eat my food. <laughs> Maybe you're an awesome online person and you can share and pray with people through social media and, and bless them. That is also an amazing way that I've learned that we're able to care for the people that God brings around us. It is a tool to share the love of Christ. Just like this is a tool to feed the hunger, to feed 
the need, but then also, most importantly, to let them know that God loves them, that God cares, that He is with them through all things. Just do you. I'm just doing me. I'm just doing what God laid on our heart to do. And this is one of the ways that it is possible for us to help change this world. And you know, maybe we're not changing a ton of people. But it's the one that matters. It's the one that we can take care of. It's the one that we can bless. And that one can bless someone else. That one can help the next person along the line. So no matter what you do, however you do you, just remember that you're fulfilling what God has called us to do. And that is to go into all the world and share the good news and tell people about God and about salvation. Hallelujah. If we could do that, just one person at a time, and if we all did it together, oh my goodness, we could truly change this world. I love you. God bless you. And you know what? You're special, and there is a call for each of us to fulfill. No matter how you do it or what you do, you do you.